Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ming. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe, and welcome to today's video, which is my anticipated reads slash books I've pre-ordered until the end of the year. So this video is going to span book releases from July to December. Keeping in mind, I've already done one of these videos before. I will leave it in the cards. That was basically my anticipated releases for the year. However, most of the books that were announced were basically until September and so the list has obviously increased since then, hence why I'm kind of making a part two to this video. I don't take a lot of time to explore synopses in these videos because there's a lot of books so I mostly mention their release date, if they are sequels, what genre they are, and if you want more information on them, if they look appealing to you, you can go and look them up. Also, this is a video that kind of acts as a reminder if you were anticipating specific books that they might be coming out sooner or later than you think. And that is the purpose of this video. It's also to kind of just throw books out there that I know I'm interested in, in case you've never heard of them. So that is the gist of it. As I mentioned, if you want more of this list or books that happened to release earlier this year, go watch my first video. And I will also mention that there are a lot of different genres mentioned in this video. I am a proud mood reader and different genre reader, although I am primarily romance and middle grade. There are also thrillers and fantasy and just so many different genres featured in this list. So without further ado, let's hop on in. On the 4th of July, we have the paperback release of the newest Percy Jackson book, which is kind of like the introduction to a spin-off series. There was a Waterstones exclusive edition of this, which I personally pre-ordered with sprayed edges, but the regular copies will also be out because... It's been a whole year, folks, so if you were waiting for the paperback release, now is your time. On July 7th, we have the release of Reckless, which is the second book in the Lauren... I was gonna call her Lauren Asher's... Lauren Roberts series, the first being Powerless, which is a romanticy. I don't know if it's YA or adult. I still haven't read Powerless, but I wanted to get a matching edition of Reckless from Waterstones with the sprayed edges. I think the US edition comes out on the 2nd of July, so it's always releasing in the same week, but not necessarily the same day. So for those of you who have been highly anticipating the release of Reckless, there you go. It's finally your time. On the 9th is another anticipated release for a lot of people, and that is The Spell Shop. This does have a limited edition first print run with sprayed edges as well. This is kind of, I think it's more leaning on fantasy. There might be a sprinkle of romance, but I definitely think this book is categorized as fantasy. Extremely excited for this one. It sounds kind of like whimsical and magical and like really, really fun. So highly anticipating that one. On the 16th, again, strong release month it is in July. We have Business Casual by B.K. Borison. This is the final book in her series. I don't even know what the series is called, but it's the one with Love Light Farms, Mixed Signals, all of those romance books, and basically they're all kind of themed around seasons. So there's four books, four seasons, and this one is traditionally published as she was picked up by a publisher, so all of her books were reprinted, and this is the last one to come out to us until she ventures off into something new. On the 18th is the UK publishing date for One Perfect Couple. If I am not mistaken, this book was already out in the US slash Canada. It is a thriller book, which I am super excited to read. I technically have pre-ordered the UK edition because I really enjoyed the cover of that one more than the US Canada. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's accessible if you're in the US or Canada already. If not, you don't have long to wait. On the 19th is the release date of A Walk-Off Wedding, which is the third and final book in its series. These are all baseball romances. They are adorable. The aesthetic clearly represents what is in the book, and they are beloved by a lot of people. So if you are anticipating the release, I think it was moved around a little bit, but so far it should be coming out in July. On the 23rd of July, we have collector's editions for the Bridgerton books. Both volume one and two are going to be out. Basically, they are a bind up of, I believe, like two books each. 
it's two or it's three and they are beautiful covers with the sprayed edges and it's just the whole shebang so if you were not able to get those Illumicrate books that people have been selling for the amount of a kidney this could be a good alternative which I for one did pre-order because I do think they're gonna look almost as stunning as the Illumicrate books. And the last release I have for July, which July is a big month, is The Playbook by Rebecca Jenjak. This is her second book in a new series. The first one was Burnout. This one is The Playbook and it follows like brothers in this series and honestly this woman can do no wrong. If you love her you'll already know that her newest release is coming soon but if you didn't the first one is a motocross and gymnast romance and this one is a little bit different but again we are following brothers extremely excited she also has uh, foiled editions to pre-order on her website and if you're in the US you can actually order like a box with like some merch in it as well for the release. Moving on to August which is another big month. On August 1st we have The Secret of Golden Island. This is a middle grade book that has recently come on my radar. Uh, again I found it via the Waterstones website but it sounds right up my alley so if you are like me and have similar reading taste to me when it comes to middle grade I think this one could be up your alley as well. The 6th is a big release day. The 1st is the most exciting release for me. It is Apprentice to the Villain which is the second book in the like villain series. Um, I love 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 the first book and it ended on a cliffhanger and I want to reread the first book before the second comes out but I'm so excited. Again, it is one that has a limited first print run with the sprayed edges. Then Waterstones is also coming out with their exclusive edition of Throne of the Fallen, the paperback version. So again, if you were looking for the paperback version of Throne of the Fallen by Harry Maniscalco, first book in a new series, it's gonna be out in August. And... Again, a book that was picked up by a publisher that is no longer in the publish that is coming out on August 6th is The Enemy by Sarah Adams. So if you were waiting for those books that she had prior in her indie list that were like taken off the internet and traditionally published, it's coming for you. I did forget to mention that in July, I think it's July 4th, The Match, which is another one of her books, is releasing via tr traditionally published circuits. Whatever you understand what I'm trying to say. On the 13th is Lady Macbeth by Ava Reed. Waterstones has an exclusive edition. I know Fairy Loot is also doing one but Waterstones edition is coming out on the 13th so if you haven't pre-ordered that I don't know if there's any stock left but it's a beautiful edition. You don't want to miss it. On the 15th is another really exciting release for me and it is Enemies to Lovers which is a new romance book and as I've said a million times before I am not much of a traditionally published romance girly anymore but this one is speaking to my soul. I don't know if it's the cover, just the synopses, everything sounds like it's gonna be an incredibly amazing time and a fun way to kind of close out summer. Uh, so I'm really anticipating this release. And another amazing release which is coming out in August is The Life Impossible by Matt Haig which comes out on the 28th if I am not mistaken. Again I've been anticipating this book for months now. I cannot wait to read it. I am a lover of Matt Haig. Say what you will. I know there are differences in opinions. I just think what he does is incredible. I love reading his books and so super hyped for this one. And again to close out the uh, the month of August a wonderful wonderful highly anticipated release of mine is Amari and the Despicable Wonders. It is the third book in the Amari and the Night Brothers series by Baby Austin one of my all-time favorite middle grade series. It is fantastic you guys if you haven't started the series I highly recommend doing so very soon so that you can catch up and join us in reading the third book. I am planning on rereading books one and two and creating this kind of like what you need to remember before going into book three kind of video. Hopefully I have the time to do so but I have been anticipating the third book for a year now and he is such a reliable man. Like I hope this doesn't turn out with like 
so many of my favorite middle grade series that end up taking so long to like publish more but I know he did get the green light in publishing more Amari books so book three is not the end. Also if the lighting shifts during this video I'm sorry but natural lighting is a mm -hmm. Moving on to September on the 5th of September we have then Things Went Dark, which is another thriller book that I'm so excited about. I think this one is set like on an island or something and if you know me and my thriller reading tastes, they are some of my favorite books. I love secluded islands, I love multiple perspectives and thrillers. I just think this one is definitely a five-star prediction. Then I also have pre-ordered the Waterstones Immortal Dark Edition. This is, if I am not mistaken, a romanticy. So if you are a romanticy girly, I think this one is. I will correct myself on the screen if it is not, but from memory it is. On the 10th is a classic release that I feel everybody knows about, but I am telling you it's happening just in case you don't. We have Somewhere Beyond the Sea, which is the sequel to The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. This book is very divisive. Not everybody agrees with T.J. Klune. I am researching that at the current moment because I still don't know exactly what it is that is happening with T.J. Klune. I will make my own research. Do not worry. I'm not asking you to educate me. I'm just saying you might be aware of the situation or you may not and you want to research before going into book two but just know it's coming out if you're anticipating it and again it has a limited print run with set sprayed edges. On the 12th I'm so excited you guys I'm so 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 excited for The Chronicles of Weather Why which is the first book and I'm hoping a series by Anna James. Anna James is the author of Pages & Co. Again, one of my favorite middle grade series of all time and she's coming out with this new book. It's a completely different series and it sounds fantastic. The cover is beautiful. Everything about this, I feel like I could love it even more than Pages & Co. And that is saying a lot because if you've been following me here for a while, you would know how much I love Pages & Co. We also have The Golden Linnet which is another middle grade book that is coming out. I've heard some great early reviews for this. This is another one I wasn't too sure if it was going to be up my alley or not, but I definitely think I would enjoy it a lot. And so I did end up pre-ordering that one. On the 17th, we have A Dark and Drowning Tide. Again, this is another Waterstones exclusive that I have pre-ordered. It is a beautiful exclusive edition. Uh, I'm sure subscription boxes will also be doing this book because it's an anticipated release for a lot and a lot of people. It is a fantasy, maybe with some romance in there as well, but I know it's primarily fantasy. On the 19th, we have the Waterstones exclusive that I have pre-ordered of Rewitched. The cover is one of my favorite covers of the year. Honestly, it is beautiful. And we also have the Waterstones exclusion what? The Waterstones exclusive edition of All the Devils, which I think this is Dark Academia from what I read of the synopses. Fantasy, Dark Academia, those kinds of vibes. Again, beautiful cover. And I've heard some people be hyped about this one. On the 24th, we have the new Percy Jackson book that is coming out in hardcover. Waterstones does have an exclusive edition of that one, and it is Percy Jackson and the Wrath of the Triple Goddess. So again, it is continuing on with Percy once he is like in his college years. So if you're a fan of Percy Jackson, I'm sure you already know this exists, but it's coming out in September. And on the 26th, we have two anticipated middle grade releases, one being Hedgewitch 3, Sea Witch, which is part of a middle grade series. Obviously it is book three. If you are onto the series or want to start a new series, highly recommend. And we also have Turtle Moon, which is another middle grade book I am anticipating. It will be my first by this author, but I know she is very beloved in the middle grade community and has other books that have done extremely well as well. So love that. Let's move on to October. On October 1st, I have technically pre-ordered the box set for the Belladonna series because it was extremely cheap on Amazon. Basically, if you were looking for a way to save money and read that series, the box set will be out in hardcover. Now, obviously, all these books will be out before then. But just a heads up, I think it was like $40 Canadian when I pre-ordered the box set. So 
get on that, look for prices, pre-order guarantee, all those things if you were looking to read the series. I was, but wasn't going to pay full price for hook covers because I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about them. But so much love makes me feel like I can love them too. We also have nothing like the movies by Lynn Painter, which is the sequel to Better Than The Movies. I'm sorry if you keep hearing cars, people are driving like maniacs in front of my house. But yeah, it's the sequel. I think it's like them once they are in college and some shenanigans have happened. On the third, we have a Waterstones exclusive of Some Like It Cold, which is the author's first foray, I believe, into adult romance. I know her from her middle grade books. I'm not sure if she's written other adult books, but it's gonna be my first by her and it is a romance. It looks adorable. And we also have the Waterstones exclusive for A Pirate's Life for Tea, which is the sequel to Can't Spell Tea Without Treason. I'm excited for this one because pirates. On the 10th we have a Waterstones exclusive edition for Best Hex Ever, which looks stunning. This obviously you can tell by the title is kind of like a witchy romance. I don't read a lot of witchy romances but for some reason one the cover really grabbed my attention on the Waterstones website and when I read the synopsis I was like you know what I think this one is one I'm actually going to enjoy. It might be my spooky romance for October. And then you guys if you haven't heard me speak or talk about or promote <laughs> Skandar and the Unicorn Thief and the whole series. Recently you may not know that the fourth book which was come out, supposed to come out April of 2025 is actually coming out on the 10th of October and Waterstones obviously has its exclusive edition but it was a plot twist I could never see coming and if you want to join me in getting ready for that release I will leave an announcement video for the Skandar read-along that I'm posting on my channel every month until October where we will read the new release all together. Uh, the 29th is Throne of Secrets by Harry Maniscalco which is the second book in the Throne of the Fallen I think yes Throne of the Fallen series. The paperback edition is coming but like a few months before that. Remember I mentioned it. Now the hardcover is coming out for book two. Moving on to November. On November 5th is the paperback edition of Hurricane Wars and the first print has limited edition run stenciled edges this time which look stunning so I think I'm going to be purchasing that one to read instead of the hardcover which I have already sold. On the 7th is another thriller book which I'm super excited about and it is The Christmas Stocking Murders and this is I guess like a companion novel to another book that came out in that release which are all like themed around Christmas thrillers, mysteries. I love the old style of these hardcover books and like all the customizations by Waterstones. Love them failed to read the first one last December but the plan is to still read them both around Christmas time. On the 10th of November is something I did not see coming and that was recently announced and it is hardcover exclusive editions of Powerless and Reckless by Waterstones. I know other subscription boxes like Owl Crate and maybe Bookish Box will be doing exclusives but if you are not part of them or can't afford the cost of a subscription I highly recommend checking out the Waterstones exclusives because my jaw literally dropped to the floor. The naked hardbacks, the it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. It's the most pretty set I've seen so far. I personally wasn't a fan of the Owl Crate one, but this one really did it for me. I like how it's still simple but has these beautiful touches to them. So if you've wanted to collect like editions of Powerless and Reckless. Highly recommend you checking them out and pre-ordering before there's no more. On the 11th we have The Courting of Bristol Keats which I again think is a fantasy romance. The Waterstones has an exclusive again it's beautiful but I know there is also a limited edition first print run of that book as well in the US and Canada. And there is also the release of the Heist Royale which is the second book in a series of like why a heist kind of books? Thieves? Thieves Gambit I believe is the first book so you get the vibe. And on the 14th is Games Untold by Jennifer Lynn Barnes which is yet another book in the Hawthorne Legacy Hawthorne Brothers series that 
everybody has read the inheritance games but this series is is it, it keeps going on is all I'm gonna say. On the 26th we have the collector's edition of the Poppy War with beautiful stenciled edges. I don't own the Poppy War yet so I'm waiting out on this one to try and at least read the first book and then we'll see how it goes. And the last book I have to talk about comes out on December 12th and it is Wind and Truth by Brandon Sanderson and Waterstones has a stunning hardback exclusive with stenciled edges which I have pre-ordered but I still need to like read pretty much the entirety of the series but we're not going to talk about it. I did not want to miss out on the hardcover because so far what I've read absolutely love but it's taking me an atrocious, atrocious amount of time to keep going. But that is my list ladies and gentlemen. I hope it was helpful to at least one of you. Let me know what I missed that you think I would enjoy, what you're looking forward to, Let's chat about it in the comments and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye guys, happy reading.